Hey, this is Lewis from SoFly, and in this video I'm going to show you how to do a very basic XML import with WPL import. So first go to All Import, New Import, and then you want to click Upload a File. Click here to select a file from your computer, and I have an XML file containing data on various books, so I'm going to import this. I'm going to import this to New Posts, and uh, then continue to Step 2. WPL import shows me that there are 12 book elements in my file, and it's going to import one book element per post. Now we'll continue to step three and determine where the data in our XML file is actually mapped to in WordPress. So to set the post title, we'll set that to the title of the book simply by clicking on title and dragging and dropping it over to the title box. Then to set the post content, we'll set that to the book's description. We'll click description and drag that over. Now let's say I'm a theme, custom theme developer, and I want to have custom fields for, we'll say price and publish date. Now I'll drag price over and publish date over. And I want a little dollar sign in front of price, so I'll just add that right here. Uh, next up, I want to put the book genre I want to import that as a category, so I'll click that and drag it over to the category box. Uh, now I will continue to step four. Now WPL import will create new posts for each unique book in our books file. So if let's say we had two books that were the same, WPL import would detect those as duplicates. We do that through something called a unique identifier, and in general WPL import can auto detect what that should be. So we've set it to title. That's something that's going to be unique for each book in the file. We'll now continue, and we're all ready to run the import. Let's click Confirm and Run an Import, and WPL Import will create 12 posts. So if we go over to Posts, here are our 12 imported books. We've got the title, description, custom fields, and a category. So that is a very basic overview of how to use WPL import and to get a more in-depth overview, watch the video WPL import in-depth overview to see many more of the features of WPL import.